Hey, what's going on guys? Alex here with TFL Bike. We've got some work to do today on our TW200. We're planning on taking it out on a little adventure ride pretty soon, and uh, there's a few things we want to touch up on the bike just to make it a little more perfect. It's a really good bike as it is, but some general maintenance things, a couple added parts could really make this a great bike. So let me walk you through what we're all doing with it. All right, so a couple things we just wanted to change up on the bike. First of all, the grips. Right now we've got the factory grips on here. This one's kind of cut off at the end, so grips can just kind of improve the feel and the look of the bike. So we're definitely going to do that. And while we're there, we figured we'd go with some new hand guards. These hand guards that are on here, they're all right, but they're a little flimsy. They're not fully metal backed. And these are. So we're going to upgrade the hand guards on here. And then a few things we kind of have to do. First of all is an oil change. I always think it's good to do right when you buy a new motorcycle or a new used motorcycle. We don't know the last time the oil was changed on this bike. It's possible it was done right before we bought it, but nevertheless, it's good to get a new baseline, put a new filter, new oil in there. And then the big one before we go out on adventure rides is a new chain. If you look at the chain on this bike, there is so much slack in it and the adjusters are pretty far back. Um, so yeah, we figured we'd put a new chain on there, looking pretty old and sad. So. Yeah, those are all the parts that's going on it. Thanks to Revzilla for hooking us up with all this stuff. All of these parts, all the oil, you can find over at revzilla.com. So if you're looking for stuff for your own motorcycle, parts, accessories, fluids, whatever it may be, check out Revzilla. Might need some slight shortening, but... Maybe like one or two links out of here. Just like that, we've got a new chain on the back of this bike. The tension is good, and we got rid of the old one, which was backed off as far as it could go, and this has definitely seen better days. So, brand new chain, we can take this off-road and not feel sketchy about it, I think. We might feel a little sketchy about some other things. There's plenty of sketchiness, but... Maybe just our riding. Yeah, probably. That's probably the only sketchy thing we do. All right, so... The actual motorcycle drain pan that we got from Revzilla is up at our company ranch. So Alex and I did a little dumpster diving to find these two jugs, which are just as good as a drain pan because once we're done draining the oil, we will put the used oil, we'll put the used oil back in the containers uh, that the new oil came out of. And these jugs, they're vinegar jugs. They don't smell very good, but they don't really need to. Apparently our neighbors use a lot of vinegar making kombucha next door. Yeah, it's what our neighbors do. Makes sense. It's, it's pretty vinegary. There we go. Oil drain pans, just like that. Alex and I were just uh, looking around this skid plate to try and figure out, um, well, we don't, we have a terrible toolkit here at the office and uh, we don't have any Torx to take it off, but I looked around a little bit and noticed that our skid plate happens to be a quick release. That's um, pretty cool. We might not have even had to take it off. That's probably where it drains out. It's through that little hole right yeah, there. Yeah, but uh, you know, but it's now it's now. even more out of the way. So, yeah. good enough. This is kind of funny. One of the few things that's changed about this bike since it came out in 87 is that they got rid of the Kickstarter, but you can still see where it would go, and you could technically add one. It's still labeled Kickstarter, even though there is no Kickstarter there. Look at that. Oil actually doesn't look that bad. Yeah, that oil's pretty clean, so probably didn't have to change it, but like I said, we didn't know what it looked like, so. Oh my God. Am I making a mess? We're also doing this oil change cold. That's how Andy recommended we do them um, because you get some more of that sediment out of the motor if you let it settle to the bottom. It takes a little bit longer than it would if it were warm, but uh, it's kind of worth the wait in our opinion.
you know, working on Yamahas is most of what Alex does in his free time. That is true. I do a lot of wrenching on Yamahas. Maybe if you didn't crash your R6, you wouldn't have to. Hey, it's almost back together. Just about. If you stop riding on the track, maybe uh, maybe you won't crash it. You should just never ride riding your R6 slow like I do on my bikes. Well, if I were riding an R6 slow, it'd be time to sell it and get a Harley. Yeah, that's a good idea too. It's a terrible idea. Don't listen to Case. Ride R6s very fast at the racetrack. And then crash them. You'll have fun. She's cold blooded. So we just got everything done besides the uh, hand guards here and I didn't read the instructions carefully enough. It doesn't include the mount clamps that go on the bar. They're sold separately. So we're gonna have to order that and uh, put the, the hand guards on later. Not a big deal. The bike is still roadworthy now. We have new chain, oil, fresh filter, um, new grips on here. We did also find out that our throttle tube under here was a little bit cracked. The throttle's not sticking, so I feel comfortable riding it like that but throttle tubes are cheap and since we have to place another order for the bar clamps, we'll probably get another throttle tube at the same time. But other than that, the bike is ready to go out on the trail. So there you have it, just a little routine maintenance and some added parts to our TW200 to make it a little more trail worthy. Like I said, we've got some exciting adventures planned with the bike now that the fall colors are gonna be turning soon at least in probably a couple weeks. Um, the weather's cooling down, it's the time of year where you really want to get out and explore the trails here in Colorado. So we had to fix the bike up in order to do it. Lots more cool content to come with this TW200. We've already gotten it out at the ranch. We did some around town riding on it. So we have a few videos with this bike, but things are about to get a lot more interesting. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to head on over to alltfl.com so you don't miss any stories in the bike world. Also, check out our new podcast, TFL Ride. It's on every platform where you find your podcasts, Apple Music, Spotify, um, and we put the episodes here on YouTube if you want to watch the video version. So check it out.